them. What's up? What's going on? How are you doing? Uh, all good, are you? Hey, great, it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, you too, bro. Uh, two, two, three, oh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, yeah, man. Come on. Lightweight, lightweight. Lightweight, baby. I don't know if you want to put more weight on there, you can't. I don't know, let me see, let me see how it feels. I've done this one a few times. I don't want my eight Olympias. Yeah. I I'll ain't put, trying to win no more. I'll go a little, yeah, you already, did, you already did everything, you're good. You gotta leave room for some of us guys, respect. Let's get this shit. <laughs> yep, yep. Get a little warm up action. Yep. Warming it up real good. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. You all compete in me? Nah. <laughs> I just like to look over my shirt off. That's what I always tell people. Don't Ain't nothing wrong off. with that. <laughs> Six. Eight. Nine. Ten. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. 30. 40. 50. 60. Yeah. 30. Yeah. 30. Yeah. I did. Really? Woo! So, are you uh, are you religious at all? Oh yeah. Yeah, I saw you. I grew talking. up in the church. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> I love that. Since uh, what four five years old? Oh really? Okay. Uh -huh. That's awesome. I we love that. We go with the church and Sunday school every Sunday. Yeah, yeah. That's great. <laughs> lightweight, lightweight. There you go. Yep. Yep. There you go. <laughs> Pump them out. All right. Valid. I love this machine. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Yeah. <laughs> this is my first workout in this new gym here. You haven't trained here yet? Nope. So I've, I've trained here more than, <laughs> <laughs> I've been coming here a little bit. It's, it's nice. It's I love Panada stuff. So. Yeah, it's my first day. <laughs> I like that you start with the laterals instead of like a press. Yeah, I always yeah. try to do that, start with that. Yeah, and I found that I, I dislocated my shoulder three times, so yep. it's like really not stable anymore. So whenever I go right into a press, it feels like it's gonna pop out. But when I like warm it up on this stuff first, it feels way better. Yeah, I've had shoulder problems back in the what, college days when I hurt it real bad. Yeah. Had to take off for like three, four months. Mm hmm yeah, Let it heal up. Mine's my labrum, I'm pretty sure. Labrum rotator cuff. I'm pretty sure it's labrum. And it's once you injured, it, doesn't it never heals. Yeah, it never. <laughs> yeah. No. Yep. Lightweight, baby. Come on. There you go. There you go. Pump them out. Yep. All right. How old are you? Just turned 24. <laughs> man, yeah. you still look like you like 17, 18. <laughs> hey, I, uh, the baby face, man. I can't grow any facial hair still, it's crazy. <laughs> My baby. Three, four, six, eight, nine, Ooh. Yep. There you go. Did you put a 10 on there? You still with Young LA? Yeah. Hmm. Yep, yeah, been doing good with them. How long you been with them? I think it's been. All right, y'all. So Young LA is having a crazy Attack on Titan collab drop today at 3 p.m. Eastern. Code Alex gets 15% off. I'm wearing the joggers right now, the sweatpants. My favorite items are the crop t-shirts, all the sweats, and the hoodies are all phenomenal. Literally one of the hardest drops that they've ever done. If you guys are gonna go check it out, it's probably gonna sell out super dumb quick. So hopefully by the time this video is out, uh, the drop isn't out yet because you gotta be on the site quick. Code Alex, get a discount 15% off. Yeah, I was, with, I was with Raw Gear for a long time and then I finally mm. got on Raw Gear. It's Bradley Martin's brand. Oh, okay. Their stuff is good. Yep. The new stuff, so you got the shorts on. Mm -hmm. I like their sweats, like this stuff. <laughs> yep. I love these. <laughs> God damn. Let's go. Yeah. Three. Oh. Hey. 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 There you go. Yep. On it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Easy. Lightweight, baby. There you go. Nice reps. There you go. Come on, you got it. Yep. There you go. Come on. There you go. 
Lightweight, lightweight. Where you go? Come on. Yep. What's that? Man, come on. I'm supposed to get in through here, right? Why y'all do me? You got it. Why y'all do me like this? Shit. Go left. Oh, straight now. Straight. This is not handicapped or successful. There you go. Oh, wild. I've never thought when I like was in high school I'd be working out with Ronnie Coleman one day. Yeah, buddy. I used to watch you, you Phil Heath, and Jeremy Buendia back when I was in high school. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what I would watch a lot. Lightweight. Oh. Lightweight, lightweight, yeah. Do you keep it uh like neutral grip when you raise up, or do you turn it? No, nah, I keep it. I keep it straight neutral? the whole way. Got you. I've seen people do it like that. Yep. Lightweight, baby. Lightweight, lightweight, lightweight. Oh yeah. Come on. You got him. How many years have you been training now? 48. Damn. Started at 12. 12? Yep. <laughs> I think I'm, yeah, I think I'm on eight. I think I'm on, I think I'm on eight. Eight? Yeah. How old were you started? I was 16 when I started working out. <laughs> I didn't really know what I was doing though. I think 17, 18 is when I really started turning up. What made you get into it? When I was 16, I had like, I had bad anger issues in high school. Uh -huh. There was a, it's kind of sad. I'm not sad about it anymore. When I was 16, there's a, uh, a girl that passed away that it was like the, I wouldn't say we, we were, it was about to be like my first girlfriend, you know, in high school, like your first little thing and she, and she died on Unexpectedly. Dang. Started getting into calisthenics, which got me into the gym, and then I started just picking up weights a little bit to go into the workouts, and then full sended it. Started watching you guys, you, Bradley, Bradley Martin, Calvin Von Moger, those guys, Lee Priest. <laughs> Holy. <Started>. Yeah. <laughs> How you do yours? I go on like the, the end of the bench, and I like lean far over, and then I go like. Oh, okay. Yeah. I might try that thing. Yeah. <laughs> Cause this is. There you go. What's that? Oh yeah. That's pretty good. It worked out for you? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try it. Wait, it's a too. little bit better. <laughs> you wanna try the 12th or do you wanna go? Uh, maybe 10. Ten. I can't wait to eat. I haven't eaten yet today. <laughs> you haven't? Uh uh. It's <laughs> so one thing I couldn't do. I don't eat much in the mornings. I can't. I never have been able to. I usually wait till like noon. Oh, okay. Or 1 p.m. <laughs> to be honest with you, I'm gonna wait at home, but I don't get up till 1. <laughs> <laughs> What's your, uh, do you have like pre workout meals? Uh, normally chicken and rice. Chicken and rice? Yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, Even when I was competing, that's what it was. Yeah. So I'm still doing the same thing today. That didn't change that much. Just a little bit. Do you do you eat out often, or you just Never. you keep it clean? <laughs> yeah, my wife cooks pretty good. Cook out. Yeah, they got like I got I got like a few burgers and then like grilled chicken or something, and then I took the buns off the burgers because I was on a road trip. I don't want to have too many carbs. <laughs> you like me? That's what I always do. Like if I get a sandwich, I always I take... cannot eat a burger with all that bread. Yeah, I like when I died, it I only took in 125 a day. When you died, you're 125. Mm-hmm. 125. A day. Did you ever go lower? Six hundred grams of protein. Six hundred grams of protein. <laughs> Wait, what? how many calories is that? When you're di when that was when you were dieting. That's when you admitted for the Olympia. Six hundred grams of protein a day, every day. So the, what? Six hundred. I had protein, to get up in the middle calories. of the night to eat. Uh huh. And go back to bed. What kind of protein would you do? Chicken, steak, Fatty? turkey. Was it all lean? All lean. lean yeah. Chicken breast. Um, that's crazy. filet mignon. Yeah, that's and 2,400 calories of protein only. That's mm -hmm. crazy. Turkey. Yeah. I mean, do you still feel like? Do you feel hungry? Like on the. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Really? Yeah. So that to you still isn't a. a <laughs> I was eating every three hours, and I was hungry every three hours, real hungry. What? <laughs> Even when I uh, worked full time police department. Oh yeah, I remember those clips. <laughs> yeah, and you'd have your meal prep and stuff. <laughs> yep. Eating in the car before I go home. Do you have any crazy stories with that or no? Crazy story I, I ever had was uh, I always try to get off early every night and <sighs> I know these calls that take, so I don't have to work overtime. Texting people like to shoot their gun in the air. 
<laughs> it's Texas. Yeah. I don't know why. It's just something they do. So I got one of those calls one night. Showed up on the scene, and you know, normally you just shoot there and just drive off. Yeah. <laughs> Come back, they go gone. Guy started pointing like, I'm like, what the hell is he doing? He's pointing at the door. <laughs> so I like, what's going on, dude? He like, I was shooting in there. I'm like, oh shit, I'm fucked up now. <laughs> <laughs> I opened the door, blood was everywhere on the walls. No way. On the fireplace, everywhere, all over the floor. And two people laying there dead. Wow. I'm like, no. Needless to say, I worked until like four or five in the morning. That was right around 11 o'clock. So they shot each other or someone shot both of them? Somebody, some guy shot both of them. It was a homeless guy and they were trying to help him out. And he like, give me the money, give me the money. Like, we so got it. The homeless guy falls. <laughs> boom, oh. boom, boom. So and he just walked away. So a homeless dude had the gun. Their gun. Oh, they, he took their gun? Their gun. How'd he get their gun? They just left it there, you know. So they, they, they were trying they to help the homeless up. guy out? Like, give him, they like, They were trying food. to help him out, give him a place to stay. Get, oh, that's wild. And they got done up by that? I hope they're in heaven. Feel bad. And he just walked away like nothing happened. Do, 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 he got a, did he get found and arrested? Uh, he just, just found, they found, we found him walking down the street. And he went to Susan Jail? No, yeah. He, wow. That's crazy. I'm like, man. I don't know what I'll do to see in a dead, like, did it, did it feel weird to see, like, a dead person? Like, I mean, I've seen so many dead people. It, really? I've seen, I saw so many dead people, like, I, I couldn't take it no more. So one day I showed up on the call. Yeah. It was an 80 year old guy in hospice, you know. I'm like, I, I, I can't do it no more. I can't look at no more dead bodies. This one call we worked, this 20 year old guy hung himself. All because his dog died and his girlfriend left him. Mm. That's what he said in the suicide note. Wow. My first day on the job, first day Dang. on the job, got pulled into the station, put a 357 to his head, blew his head off. Just the top part though. Nah, yeah, I mean, I, yeah. all this was still there. He put it right here. All, all, all of that part came off. You saw that? Uh, I oh. saw that plain as day. First day on the job. Damn. I'm like, holy shit. It blew his head all the way off. All you saw was brains just hanging down, skull, skull all in the car. <laughs> It's wild. His suicide note was, my wife got MS and we got two kids and, and I just can't stand to see her. Yeah. He had on a three-piece suit and everything. He was dressed up. I'm like, are you serious? Your wife got MS and you can't take it no more? She's the one suffering, not you, dude. Yeah. And y'all got two kids and you going to That people were like off of themselves is terrible. The stuff. mental health mental health is like such a crazy thing. I feel yeah. like people need to. I wait. worked a lot of those, a lot of suicide calls. Yeah. We I, get a lot of it during the holidays, Christmas. People just they, hang themselves yeah. all the time. They get sad. I didn't know what suicide was when I was in high school. Really? Nope. Wow. I didn't know you could uh, like put a gun to your head and pull the trigger. Because mm -hmm. it never happened where I'm from. I never saw it on TV or nothing, you know, yeah. back in those days. And I remember, I, I don't know what, what, when the, the first time I heard about it, and I thought, man, somebody could actually do that to themselves? Yeah, it's Put wild. a gun to their head and pull the trigger? Like, that's... That's the craziest thing I've ever heard in my life. It's it's a wild thing. I feel like social media definitely has made it a lot more common in younger people though, which is sad. Now they don't do it with like guns. They do it usually, you know, drugs and stuff to lower dose. Uh -huh. so yeah. So they don't have to feel nothing. I work some of those. Yeah. I could not imagine like having like a disturbance call and then like you pull up, because you were jacked. Just having like a jacked ass police officer pull up to your doorstep. Yep, and I I'd never, ever up. had a problem. <laughs> Nobody never wanted to fight me. Yeah. And I shit. was looking for a fight every day. I was working part part time, this off duty job at a Denny's restaurant. <laughs> and this drunk guy came in and decided he wanted to get rowdy. I'm like, hey man, you need to calm down. You need to tone down a little bit. He's like, ah, oh, you can't tell me what to do. <laughs> I'm like, dude, <laughs> for real though, you need you need to calm down. You need to chill out. And I grabbed him by his arm, I was like, cause he wouldn't stop. I grabbed him by his arm, like, dude. And he did this, and the fight was on. No way. <laughs> the fight was on. I grabbed him, I 
threw him down. It wasn't that big, you know. <laughs> like, dude, I told you, you need to calm down. So now you under arrest for disturbing the peace or something. How, how much were like, you? How much were you lifting back? Was that like your prime? Like I was you, 215. So was you pushing? I was weight, getting though? ready for the uh, universe. So you're pretty damn big. Yeah, yeah. I, I was still big and strong. Yeah, I'm, yeah. like I said, deadlift 750 this time. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing to the ground. Man, I grabbed him by his arm and I, I shoved his head into the wall. Boom! <laughs> like, give me your other hand. Boom! <laughs> Nope, give me your other hand. Boom, nope. I showed him about four or five times. <laughs> and one of the guys just walked up to me and just gave me his other hand. I put the cuffs on him. Called for another unit. So I'm taking him out to the car, <laughs> and his sister runs up on me like, well, What are you doing? Why are you arresting my brother? What are you doing, my brother? I'm like, Girl, get out of here. Leave me alone. He's on rest. He's on the rest. Yeah, I'm a car guy. I used to have four at one time. Yeah, I don't even know if I can go as heavy as you, bro. You got me beat on these. Oh, you can't do this? It's lightweight, man. You got me beat. <laughs> yep, there you go. Yep. Get him up. There you go. Come on. Yep, yep, yep. I need to get a haircut, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Back in the day, I used to have an afro. <laughs> you the afro? No way. Yes, sir. That's funny. Had a big old head of hair. Back in the days, the good old days. Good old days, yeah. <laughs> what was your favorite time in your life, you feel like? Throughout? College. College? Best days ever. <laughs> Best days ever. <laughs> That's funny. I had no idea until I left. You enjoyed it, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. Best time of my life. Yep. If I'd have known what I knew now, I'd have stayed in there just a little while longer. Yeah. I went to grad school and everything, but I was just so in a hurry to get out of there. Once I got my degree, I was out like a light. You when were, I was in high were, school- You were hustling. Man, I was, couldn't nobody out hustle me. I had three jobs in high school. I worked at this store as a stalker. I worked for the Parks and Recreation Department. Well, I was a scorekeeper, keeping scores for the basketball game. And I worked at this restaurant. I was a bus boy. Three jobs at one time in high school. Could not I hustle me. Yeah, you probably had more money than all the other people. <laughs> I kept money all the time. My mom didn't have to do nothing for me. I did my own thing. Yeah. <laughs> Bought my first car at 15, paid $100 for it. $100 for it? <laughs> it lasted about a month. <laughs>